Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another episode of Little Modular. Today we will be taking a closer look at this absolutely bonkers, crazy, noisy module by Eric Schlappi from Schlappi Engineering called Angle Grinder. And this module sounds exactly as it is named. It really does sound like Angle Grinder at times. Just like the previous module by Schlappi Engineering, interstellar radio it is aimed at producing weird aggressive noisy drony sounds my favorite use for it is mangling drums and making some metallic aggressive percussion sounds just like those that you have heard at the beginning of this video without further ado let's just jump right into the module as it is not the easiest one to understand that's because it's not your ordinary filter or oscillator or wave shaper it's actually all of those things molded into one crazy module that could be a filter could be an oscillator or a wave shaper uh, but it's mostly something in between those things and i like to think of it as a feedback network the main thing you need to understand is that this module comprises of two sections the left section called grind and the right section which is basically an oscillator called spin and the way those two sections influence each other and to what extent generates a myriad different sounds this is a quadrature oscillator the spin section right here and you can use that as a simple sine oscillator because it outputs four sine waves which are 90 degrees apart but when this module is set in such a way that it works as a filter these are the filter outputs and you can get the low pass uh, band pass high pass which is really really cool on this one and inverted band pass so it's either four sine waves or four different filter responses right here you operate the frequency of the oscillator or filter with this knob and this is the fine tune for it now the grind section consists of th these four sliders right here this input knob input and also a grind output so you can either get some filter outs or some crazy uh, sounds out of this this is where the aggressiveness the drones the crazy sounds reside so that's where you want to uh, plug in if you want those kind of sounds this is for external input Below, you also have four CV inputs for these sliders. I will explain in a second what are these four. You also get two FM inputs. The first one, FM1 right here, can be uh, exponential or linear. This is switchable by a jumper at the back of the module. Here is where you uh, decide upon the depth of this first modulation. Then you also get inject in which just bypasses the grind section and goes straight into the spin section. You also have a one volt per octave. There are two more super important knobs. With these two, you decide how those two sections influence each other. So if you turn down all of the uh, knobs, FM, dampening, uh, grind to spin, and if you plug into any of these uh, sections, that's where you got. A very clean sunny wave these won't work because we are not plugged into the uh, ground output just into this uh, spin pure sunny waves they will all sound the same because uh, they are just 90 degrees apart so nothing will change here right but if you want some cool sounds you can just plug into here into the grind output now if we turn up this in right here what we're doing is we are feeding the uh, grind section with the signal from this internal oscillator. And now you can decide on different harmonics added to this signal. Okay? So what we are doing right now, we are mangling this internal sine wave the more you turn this clockwise 
the less it is an oscillator and it becomes more of a filter. Now, if you want to shut down the oscillator section totally, you will use this knob, dampening, because this oscillator is simply a filter put into an oscillation, into a, into a positive feedback. So if you want to cancel this feedback, if you want to cancel these oscillations, you will need to apply a negative feedback. And that is exactly what this dampening knob does. If we apply this, this will stop oscillating. Oscillator, now if I turn the dampening clockwise, it will stop oscillating. It's not an oscillator anymore. It's a filter. Now if I connect some external sounds, Basimilus Iteritas, and I can use those outputs as uh, filtering outputs. I just need to turn this knob clockwise so it's a filter. And now you can hear that I have a low pass. Here I have a band pass. And here I have high pass. We will come back to this one as this is a really gritty one. And we have inverted band pass. Okay. Now, if you want to include this oscillator in the whole path, you would just move this counterclockwise to the left. So it's something in between a filter and an oscillator right now. But as I mentioned before, the coolest part of this is the grind output because that's where all the mangling uh, resides. This is your feedback playground. When it's in the oscillator mode, this just gives you some harmonics. But when it's in the feedback grind filter mode, that this become your four nonlinear feedback patches, so to speak. So it does sound complicated, but once you will fiddle with those two options a bit, you will understand how all of this works and you will quickly find some super sweet spots for this module. So let's discover some of it. What about a simple way from Erika Sin's synth voice connected to the input? So now we're just adding some different harmonics, as you can hear. Now, when you turn the grind more into the uh, spin, this oscillator is overhelmed by the grind section. Okay. And as you can hear, all of those controls now become really interactive. Just like in any feedback patch. And there's one thing I haven't mentioned before. This also works in two modes. In the high mode, which is I believe from 10 Hz to 20 kHz and low mode which is from 0.3 hertz to like 5 600 hertz which also gives you a totally different sound now as you can imagine this module really starts to shine when you animate all of those four uh, faders and you do that by plugging some cv into those inputs right here in my case this is batumi Okay, I'm just gonna connect some random source to it. And you can already hear we are getting some really nice... squeaky action. Of course, if I change the wave on the source, it will also influence the whole maze in a drastic way. How about adding some other modulation, again, from another... Okay. 
now we have added some oscillator back into the uh, patch but we can just dump it I like it that way better we can add some FM modulation for instance in my case this is going to be a signal from Intelligent Rubicon and I'm gonna connect it to FM1 and I'm gonna set the uh, the amount okay the FM2 is only exponential it has even more pronounced effect Let's try with the lower. Glass splinters flying in the air. I, I'm really, I'm loving this. Oh shit, that is so cool. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy, bro. What we could do is we could also bypass the uh, grind section and just go straight into the inject section. What this does is it just omits the grind section and it kind of works like a soft sync. So, for instance, if I connect uh, a signal from my IntelliJelly Rubicon square, I will get sounds like this. It's just another layer of of noise okay so now again if we modulate <laughs> it is just really super fun let's see what happens when I'll input the Pastimulus Iteritas Alter uh, to the input and I'll use the uh, high pass out of the uh, filter remember that we have the uh, grind to spin to the right and we also have dampened the uh, uh, oscillator we are animating some of That's how it sounds in the low mode. That's how it sounds in the high. Now maybe with some uh, FM modulation. It's just a lovely module and as I said before the coolest things with this are located in the gray area and also this is very important this is where the signal to the grind section comes from so this is the level of the external or internal in sound so you need to operate basically all of those three knobs these are highly interactive okay and of course the sliders and just like in case of any other feedback, you know, network, the key is just in experimentation because it's not really a predictable module. It's charm and the magic lays a bit in its unpredictability. So if you like the uh, interstellar radio sounds, it's really similar, like for instance, like now, similar sounds, but more, <laughs> I would say. And notice that I haven't even touched uh, Basimil's Iteritas. All of those sounds just come from different settings on the angle grinder. So actually, 
those two modules work very well together. Because Basimilus is, of course, a great module, but it's kind of dated, meaning it's very popular and we know it sound a bit too well, maybe. So this is very good for dirtying up the sound, making it more alive and uh, less uh, recognizable, if that's what you want. Right, so you have to excuse me, I'll have to leave you now, because as you can hear, those sounds <laughs> in the background are just begging me for be recorded. So that is what I'll do now. So I'll strongly encourage you to try out this thing, especially if you are into some glitchy and noisy stuff. It takes a bit of space, but it's totally worth it. If you ask me and I love the industrial design raw metal knobs and just raw power of noise I will definitely do some more videos with it please check out the other video I made on it in the uh, shut up and wiggle playlist you can find some more sounds made with angle grinder Take care, bye-bye, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.